Well, in the last vlog, I optimistically said, hopefully, maybe next week, we are gonna get an update, a positive update, and we will be able to fly to Japan. Well, let's say that I was really, but really optimistic. On est plus jour aujourd'hui Le 16. C'est quoi le 16 C'est mon anniversaire. C'est anniversaire, Zach Merci. So today is uh, Zach's birthday and because he cannot be with his uh, school friends because we are in Slovenia, we decided to take him to a secret place I cannot talk about because he can hear me and I don't want him to maybe understand me. So let's just spin to this place. Bonjour, Zach. Bonjour. Sun is coming up, are you ready to go? We can take a ride, we can take it slow yeah. We'll lose my law, I'ma let you be the boss Cause I'll go where you go I'll take you to a place, we can see it all so like I said in the last vlog, I was really hoping for some good news regarding our situation and our visas. We did get some news. So on Monday 9th, uh, we went to the Japanese embassy here in Ljubljana. We applied for the visa, even though they cannot issue us the visas. Uh, we just wanted to do everything we need to do. So we filled out uh, the two pages papers with all the information they need. We gave them our passports, ID pictures, and uh, also the certificate of eligibility, which is issued by the Japanese government. Long story short, we did everything we need to do to obtain the visas once the government gives its green light. By doing so, we knew that nothing really had changed, but we felt good about ourselves because we had the feeling that we were moving forward with our situation. But four days later, on Friday, I got the bad news. The JHL and the clubs had the meeting uh, regarding many topics and one of them being the entry of uh, foreign players for the next season. So after the meeting, Yuya, who is my contact and also works for the club, uh, just delivered the bad news that we will not be able to get our visas until the end of September. I repeat, the end of September. The news was bad, but we fairly quickly accepted it and were already looking forward and uh, planning uh, our next uh, one month and a half. And So for the past two weeks uh, we lived at Anya's uh, sister's house and we are really grateful for their hospitality but it's time for us to give them some space and for us to have our own house so that's why we are now searching for an apartment to rent for the next one month and a half so that we can feel a little bit like home. Beside the fact that we need to find a home for the next weeks, we are facing another big problem and that's the school for the boys. What should we do? Should we put them to a local school here? Should we homeschool them? Should we start with English uh, classes for them? So when they arrive in Japan, in the international school, they will at least know the basics of English. There is many options, we just need to find the right one. So we don't know how the next weeks are gonna look like But, but they are gonna be interesting for sure As usual we're gonna try to make it positive and stay positive in every situation
So if you want to follow us for the next few weeks on our journey to getting to Japan, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell if you want to get notified the next time I upload a video. Because if you don't, Igor is gonna get really sad and he's gonna stop filming these vlogs and then you're not gonna know what's happening with our little beautiful family. So yeah, just subscribe. Sub sub subscribe. Oh my I paid her to say this. That's it for this one. We'll see us in the next video. Peace. Mm.